after. Oh, not another up to. Dan. How do I pronounce his name? Learners around the street, you have um, got a new move. What are we looking at? It's called the sausage roll. I know it's pretty generic, so that's what I've been doing. I've landed it twice. <laughs> There's, um, there's someone he aspires to be, so who do you look, look up to? Who's your heroes? Who's my heroes? Uh, just any good cunt, really. At the moment, well, Care Guys at Johnson, you're at the top of my list, buddy. Yeah, so having a baby. Um, the only one thing I'm missing out is a name, so if anyone's got a name out there for me, hook me up. At the moment, I've got either Simba, Optimus, or Question Mark. Yeah, it's due in uh, August. So, um, so stoked at that. Yeah, it uh, freaks people out when I tell them that uh, I grew up up the coast. I spent uh, a good part of my childhood up there surfing and um, yeah, like all coasty kids we didn't have much. I didn't actually own a board till I was about 15 and I got sponsored. So um, I'd, by, the, by then I'd won two national titles and still couldn't get a, get a board. I was riding my old man's or whatever. People ask me why I ride a longboard and it's just, that's all we had in the shed. So bro, uh, how's the old longboard tour going? Are we winning or how are we looking? Uh, 2010 Hyundai tour, uh, I've had my ups and my downs, more downs than the ups, I've won one event down in Dunno's. Um, yeah, I grew up doing this thing and it's, it's all part of the fun. plans for the future wise my man. Uh, future's looking bright, um, thanks for asking. Uh, we got um, uh, trying to take on the Aussie Tour and then hopefully qualify for the World Surfing Games, for the World Surfing Games team, the NZ team like I did last year, placed ninth last year and so it'd be cool to go over to Peru with the team. It's all go.